Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. This is going to be the first in a series of videos about field deployable antenna systems coming from cross-country wireless. Now if you've watched any of my videos about HF communications, you would have heard me talk about cross-country wireless. If you've seen any of my videos about APRS, you would have uh, heard me speak about cross-country wireless. Now, I very rarely do product reviews or unboxing videos or things like that. And there's relatively a small amount of companies that you see on this channel. So rest assured, if I'm showing this to you, it must be something special. So here's a list of things that I look for in any antenna that I'm going to use out in the field. First of all, it's got to be man portable. If it doesn't fit in my backpack or whatever gear I'm, I'm taking along with me, uh, then it's a no-go. It's also got to be lightweight, and it absolutely has to be simple to set up. Here in the north, we have the problem with the cold in the winter, and I don't want to lose any of my fingers or get some type of severe frostbite uh, fiddling around with some difficult to set up antenna. The antenna's got to give me consistent results. The antenna needs to be efficient. It's got to be able to survive the elements. Wind, snow, sleet, rain, uh, even taking a dive through a lake. And it's got to come at a good price. That's a no-brainer. Now the main benefits of this cross-country wireless infed antenna design, it's lightweight and very fast to deploy. It can be set up in such a way that no one ever knows that there is an antenna there. It's got great performance. You could beat the absolute hell out of it. And it requires no tuner. Now just as I did with the bug out bag radio, I carried out a 5 watt range test to find out what were the capabilities and performance specs of this antenna in practice. I figured it doesn't really matter what something says on paper, it matters what you can show. So to carry out these tests I used the bug out bag radio, the Yezu FT817, and I used a program called the Whisper Beacon. The Whisper Beacon app and my radio provide me with a pretty awesome tool set to test antennas on HF, VHF, or UHF, completely taking the guesswork out of how your antennas are actually performing. Whisper stands for Weak Signal Propagation Reporter, and I'll put a link in the description so that you can learn about it. Now, I'm pretty sure when you see the results here, you're going to think this is some sort of marketing brouhaha. I assure you it's not. Take a look at Northern Europe there in Scandinavia, you'll see the letters S-T-N, Sierra Tango Nancy. That's my location. And all the little blue boxes you see on the map around the world are all stations which heard my beacon and reported it to the Whisper network. Let's take a closer look. If we start by looking at Europe, you can see that I've got the entire European Union covered. Switching to North America, you see I've got coverage of the mid-Atlantic and northeast coast and coverage of the Pacific Northwest. Switching back to Europe, you see that there's Norway, uh, middle Russia, almost uh, eastern Russia, and Israel. But the cherry on top of the cake, guys, is Tasmania, 15,700 kilometers. All right, guys, let's lock down this video. Field deployable, man portable, rugged, in fed half wave antennas. They let you hear what you want to hear, they let you get your signal out, and they do everything that you need them to do. Websites in the description, guys. If you have any questions or comments about this in fed half wave antenna from Cross Country Wireless or the other antennas in their upcoming series, please leave your question or comment in the comment section. Thumbs up if you found this useful or interesting. Share and let people know what we're doing with this channel. And say hello to the guys across Country Wireless if you get in touch. Rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.